first sight. And here is the defending world champion, it's Tony Cliff. Opening with 3.30. And making short work of that. Three white lights here, good lift. The spot they did, helping the 47. <laughs> Tony's a big guy. So we'll see what kind of shape he's in on his second. Not giving too much away with his opener there. Maybe skip out on breakfast on day off. Yeah. I know Tony does have to cut a bit. 3.42 and a half on the bar for his second. He's done 3.55 in competition. Did that at Sheffield in February. Now we know that Tony can grind, but that looks like it's at the limit of strength to me. Two to one, let's get a depth pull. Wow, well, that was a tough second. I couldn't really tell from that angle, to be honest. He does have one of those squats. Now here's Tony Cliff, he has a massive bench. Only with 227 and a half. Or he clipped the rack there, which um, got in the way of his bar speed a little bit, but that looked easy. Yeah, if you have your benches, your opener is the one it, it should really be the best for. So keep an eye on the left side here. Yeah, I mean, it's not a fail to clip the rack, but bench it. Here is Tony Cliff. Daddy of British powerlifting, 237 and a half on the bar. Second generation powerlifter, he has been in the sport since he was 14 years old. And he's got more in the tank. I've got to say, Joe, that was significantly more comfortable than his opener. I don't think he'll be taking a stab at that record today, but I think with some uh, other lifters on his tail, it doesn't seem worth I it. I think there's more important push for him that because it seems, that, that just seems too much. That gives me worry. I mean, hopefully his coach is knowing better than I do. So hopefully that is um, gonna be just fine. But here's Tony Cliff for 3.30. We'll wait until everyone's done their first deadlift and we'll take a look at the rankings. Wow. I mean, I didn't expect much else from Tony. Three white lights, a good lift, time world champion. Now I just looked up and the best um, best deadlift I have for Etienne is 378.5. That was last August, so he's got a year's worth of progress in there. Indeed with 350, obviously the two men ahead of him are still to pull. Tony's got to do his job, get out in front, and then it's everyone else's job to come past you. That's a really lovely second attempt there. I'd say he's got at least another 10 in him. Yeah, three white eyes, a good lift, and just Etienne has put in 396 for the world record, and not only will that give him the record, right now that would push him ahead of Bob Matthews in total. And the um, total world record, is it? And if Tony gets this, I'll imagine Ron Matthews may drop to the total he needs, which means just a 370 pull, I believe. These records have stood since 2016. But Tony's coming for them now. To move into the lead. So not quite there for Tony today. He went to the World Games in 2022 in Birmingham, brought back a, a medal from there. So he'll be looking to go.